um, and call the Monday, December 20th, 2021 select board meeting to order. Jeff, do you want to go? I don't see her yet. She's usually pretty close to the top of the hour. Yeah. She, might, she might be caller one. Hi, Chastity. Are you waiting for me? Yep, there you are. Okay. Uh, welcome to everybody that's here. Do we need any change of agendas? They're calling in the changes of agenda. <laughs> um, or any public comments? Nope, we're good. Okay. Do we have Deborah? Is she the D? That looks like Deborah. Is that you, Deborah? Hi, Hi. Deborah. How are you? Oh, we're all terrific. Good. Why not? This is just, we just thought since, well, several of the board members, Dave's online as well, but but Roly and Brian are here, um, that just for a chance to say hi, um, I think I think the good sign is, is you keep coming back, so that's hopeful. Uh, <laughs> um, and just for, for folks to know that you're, you're off and running and doing a lot of training, and I know you're doing a lot of work with Ron and Ashley. Ashley yes. And Ashley, I'm agreeing. Um, this is really just a chance to say say hi. Um, I know you have any questions or things you're dealing with, Ron. You can do it, but just uh, we're we're, uh, we're glad you're here. Well, thank you. I'm very glad to be here as well. And it's uh, it, it, it's always it's always nice when you have a job opening, and um, there are lots of good applicants, and the best applicants is from Hyde Park. Um, that's just an extra bonus. So we've got somebody right here in town that is uh, that's uh, stepping up to the plate and sounds already like doing some great stuff. So looking forward to working with you. As am I. Thank you very much. Yep. Welcome aboard, Deborah Brian Shackett. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Roland Bobby. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, do you have any questions or anything? And you're you're welcome to listen and you're welcome to flee. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I've got some things on my agenda, so I probably won't ha hang around too long, but um, okay. for a few minutes I will. Okay, terrific. Um, next, someone interested in the planning commission. Leslie. Yeah. So what can we... So you're interested in the planning commission. Yay! <laughs> that, that's right. Well, and I heard if you want to come up to this chair, just where that'd be that would be great. And I understand that you have a great background in real estate. I do, yes. I just stepped out of being the president for the Mile Area Board of Realtors, and I did real estate in Florida for 20 years and for four years up here. Yeah. But, and even before I went to Florida, I did rentals and stuff. I started the whole rental program at Stony Brook. Oh, okay. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I was going really to say, I, I remember when that was being built. Yes, that yeah. was a couple of years ago. So. <laughs> yeah, so I thought maybe this might be a good next step. I just moved to Hyde Park in the last few years, and that'd be nice to get involved. Awesome. My yeah. family's only been around here. And, so. Yeah, that's great. Where, where in Hyde Park are you? I'm on, I bought Brad Cookson's. One of Brad Cook's well, house. Um, on it's center. now called um, Wildlife Lane, but nobody can ever find us. Spend at night. I think somebody I know got it, or at least an ambulance would show up. We call it my yeah, yes, yeah. It's about yeah. all. No, but it's uh, been almost four years and still have the street now, so but it's fine. It's great. It's a one I love. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm. well, that's awesome. so great. That's great. Nice. great. Just make my house nicer. <laughs> So is there anything we can answer for you? Or are you interested or? Um, I don't really um, know a whole lot about the planning commission. Um, I have talked to a few people who have talked to me about joining. And, um, 
and I think it'll be a good step in not only my career, but just being part of the community. Um, I grew yeah. up in Stowe, so I know that area pretty well, but um, my dad lived in Hyde Park for a long time, and my sister's here. So, Great, we appreciate your interest. No problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I think, uh, yeah. Having, having someone someone with that kind of background is always helpful in planning the commission. That's mm -hmm. what I heard. Yeah. Well, you just you bring a you bring I think, can tend to bring a more comprehensive view of of mm -hmm. uh, of housing and development and all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah that's terrific. The current president of the Moorlier Board of Realtors is um, is uh, on the Warsaw thing. Good. We're doing this study. Um, I'm not really, I've been terribly involved in it just because the president I've been having to deal with other stuff. But um, we, we got a grant to do a study on the town um, Hyde Park and I think it's Hyde Park and more so. And we got different things about getting some affordable housing. And um, there's, no, I think more so is getting pretty built out. But it's, um, it's, I think. It's a huge need. I mean, yeah. you can't yeah. buy a rental around here for people that's reasonably priced. No. You can't buy a house that's reasonably priced. It's, that's that'll change. But I love it. So I also did a, a, when I was in Florida. I did mostly rentals down there, whereas mm -hmm. I do mostly sales up here. It's pretty. I know a lot about it. That's terrific. It really yeah. is. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, for happy, you well, happy to have you. <laughs> yeah. I think we talked about when the next meeting is, and I'm not going to be here. I think, but I can do it by Zoom. Yeah, yeah. So the, the select board makes the appointment, which will be a vote maybe tonight, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the planning commission is always the second Monday at right. six o'clock. Yeah. And they do same hybrid meetings. And it's here. It's the same setup. They got yep. people on hybrid and they got people here until yeah. there's a policy change. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just am not going to be in town. So I can do it. Yeah. 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 Which is always yeah. a nice option. It's on the bottom of the agenda. Yeah. Zoom is part of our, I wish I bought stock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. Really yeah. Really yeah. Really no, there, there are some downsides to it, but there are there are a lot of benefits too. I, we found we use a lot of in real estate, we use a lot of programs, but Zoom is definitely one of the better ones. So. Because Google Meet, which I find a lot of problems with that one. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your interest. No Thank you. Questions? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Have a good night. You too. You too. Bye. 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 Looking for a motion to appoint. So move. Okay. Hear that, Dave and Cassidy? Sure did. Okay. <laughs> well, 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 somebody made a motion. <laughs> yes, yes, to uh, to appoint Leslie Rollins to the Planning Commission. Yeah. Did did uh, did you talk to anybody on the Planning Commission to see if they have any uh, concerns? Uh, I didn't talk to anybody on the Planning Commission, but I sent uh, Leslie and Bob Malbon a kind of a joint email so they could talk if they had any concerns or questions just to get familiar. But I, I think that I think that's what I would probably want to hear from the planning commission before you made any. I won't do that, right? And any just judgments of what to do? I don't. Well, it's a, yeah. well, I guess so. We haven't really followed that in the past. I mean, we don't have a double interview process. So I don't. The planning commission's not in charge of appointing people, so I don't know what. Like we'd have to come up with a, a process for that. I guess. What are they going to do? Just. Do the same interview process? Is that what you're thinking of meeting with her first? Well, you you know we just made a change on that committee that irritated quite a few people, and uh, I think uh, I would think it would be proper to, to 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 bring it to them first, and we have the second vote on it, not the first. And I don't know if there's any concern with them or not. I I would expect they wouldn't be but it should be at least our courtesy to ask them i yeah i know what you're saying i think we're i think we we're talking about two different things there was people upset by going from five to seven on the planning commission but we've never engaged with having a dual interview process for volunteers that want to serve and fill a vacant spot that's that seemed the planning commission no know, knew that she was being interviewed tonight they could have come to participate if they had wanted to have some input 
I was gonna say, yeah, they they I know that they know that she that she was applying and wanted to go on the commission. So, so again, I would assume if somebody had a problem, they probably would have said something to so one of us one of us about it. But. Yeah, I don't yeah. No, I have no I'm problem. Sorry. I have no problem right. with it, but don't don't assume they know because I know two of the people that didn't have no idea that we were voting on seven people on the uh, right. That's on the planning committee. No, that's that's true, Dave. That uh, that was definitely something that Bob and I didn't take a poll of the planning commissioners to see if they wanted to go from five to seven. That's true. I'm just talking about individuals, right. you know, expressing interest. Yeah. If you, it would be kind of strange to have a split vote on a planning commission and a and a another vote at the select board. It seems pretty cumbersome on individuals trying to fill vacant spots. But I don't I I don't know. I, I guess it's fine. It's just something new that we'd have to talk to the planning commission about possibly to set up a new system of double interviews. Yeah, Chastity. Yeah, I I probably know the answer to this, but I don't. Um, select board. And planning commission is the select board. Do we always choose the seat for the planning commission, or how is how is yeah. how does that work? Like, are we in charge of the planning? Commission? When I say in charge, oversee the planning commission. I guess I should say. Yes. We appoint to boards. The select board appoints members of the of the planning commission. Oh, then yeah, oh, we, should yeah. yeah. we should be appointing this person. Yeah. Right? And yeah. Well, I, I think so. No, I appreciate I appreciate what Dave is saying. Um okay. but again, because um Ron Ron got uh Leslie and Bob in touch with each other and they've talked, so and he's the chair still, right? Yeah. I can, yeah. I just can't say what Bob did with that right. email. I don't right. and that wasn't part of an agenda where Leslie had to go meet with other people she could have done that on her own or attended a meeting but you know and i understand what you're saying i have no access to join but just because you talked to bob melvin bob melvin is just a member he's not the board right but we're in charge of appointing the members so we shouldn't ask them who they want that's not really the way it should work yeah i wasn't i wasn't asking bob for his approval to appoint uh, Dave, I was just I was just connecting them to <laughs> let Bob know that a new person was interested. I wasn't. I wasn't right. you know, yes, no, go ahead. I, I don't care one way or the other. I just didn't just thought it'd be proper to to have them have her talk to the board before. But Probably. hey, whatever, whatever. Yeah, spend at least one meeting, maybe before you get considered by the. <laughs> I, I don't well, know what those. Then she might not want to do it anymore. Uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, it turns through March 2024. Just to, that's going to be part okay. of a motion if you're going to do it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out a good way to to acknowledge and deal with your concern, Dave, which is a a, a perfectly valid suggestion, but not hang up appointing her. Um, how, how about if and and because then it's another whole month off, and she'll be going to a meeting before then. If it's a change of policy, I'd rather write it up so we can I'm talk. not thinking of it as a change of policy. I'm just trying to be courteous to the oh, no, but going forward members. too. No, it's a yeah, but that's a different oh. issue. Oh yeah. Oh, you've got a solution. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a solution. Would she be the sixth person or the seventh? Seven. Okay. Right. 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 We have that now. Right. 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 So that's another reason. I'm right. Yes. Why did you go from five to seven? Because we were having trouble getting the people that were on to get a quorum. So one person would show up, people would show up for their hearings. There'd be one person, they couldn't do anything. And the people that were on it said they wanted to stay on it. So the solution was <laughs> or to appoint some more members that would show up. There you go. So we solved it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Dave's point is possibly best addressed with a with a two step process in the future where any anybody interested in the planning commission or the DRB okay. attends at least one of their meetings before it goes to your floor. 
I, I don't know about yeah. asking them for approval of a person. That seems a little, yeah, I'm not, yeah. that's a little extra, but maybe just knowing that they met with the whole board or commission before. Right. That's, that's, that's what I heard her say when she was talking to you folks down there, she didn't really know how that board run or what they've done. Maybe she's got some questions for them before she wants to step into it, before she gets in there and find out she don't like it and not be a good member. And I'm not saying she wouldn't be, I'm just, just giving you the answer. Well, if we're being honest here, I didn't attend one single select board meeting and I didn't have a clue how it was running. I still ran. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last so just saying she's pretty qualified i mean i know her so, but i sort of know her i know who she is anyway i shouldn't say i know her but i don't know <laughs> <And laughs> like, yeah, yeah but okay yeah but, one thing i may recommend is we always look at attendance records um attendance records yeah and if they didn't meet a request it didn't meet a minimum they did get um automatic report i see yeah okay that's a, that's a suggestion yeah no that's a good idea you don't want people to decide they're putting a data for the person yeah Okay, so let me start. How 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 about well, and of course, it's not going to make any difference. Why don't um, and she's going to zoom into her first meeting anyway. Why don't we um, we ask her to uh, to zoom into that meeting, and then we can we can ask the chair of the planning commission how that went, and re ask her how she still feels about it, and then do the official appointment. Does that work for everybody? Work for me. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't, I mean. I remove my motion. Yeah, that's right. We'll table the motion for the time being. Um, yeah, I mean, and I didn't, I didn't sense that Leslie was going to be offended by anything like that. Okay. New road name. Sure oh, it's no. successful, right? That's right. Um, well, we we have a six thirty coming up. Okay, we got seeing people here so, from yeah. What yes, ma'am? But did you just? I can't really hear really or, or Brian. So we decided we're pushing this off to appoint her. Uh, just, yep, we're gonna we're she's because she we know she's planning on attending the next meeting. She's gonna have to zoom in because she's out of town, but she's going to attend, and I'll have. Ron, check with her to say we're going to attend the first one and then check with her after she attends that and with the chair and uh, then do the appointment. Okay. That does let her see. <laughs> Who knows? She could attend one meeting and say, excuse me, that was a bad idea. You never know. It's probably a good thing you didn't come to select board meetings. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see, because we got the road survey. How about if we jump down to five? Because I know it's six thirty. We probably or is, is that still scheduled for yeah, six thirty? Okay, he's going to call. We're going to have to go into an executive session about something. So beam road road survey. Uh, beam road. So beam road is moving along slowly. We have uh, no response from VTrans on how they want to deal with one of the shorter segments, which is TH52. So we, the board has to be in concert with VTrans just a little bit because it is VTrans map. So we want to make sure that when we do go to public hearing, everything that you're voting on is sort of embedded a little bit by VTrans to know that that's all they need or didn't need or whatever. So in addition to that, uh, we also had notes in the file on other class four roads scattered around town. There's about 16 other similar uh, short roads that go to a field or a meadow or a big rock or whatever that are still on the state's official highway map. And if they're listed as class four, they also are subject to the MRGP requirements for making sure they're not eroded or creating erosion problems. If you change those to public trail or discontinue, they come out of the MRGP constraint or cost. Not huge because of a lot of short roads, but it's still taxpayer responsibility to keep those in, in condition that doesn't create erosion. 
So the proposal would for consideration is would button this all up as one hearing process and have a review of those 16 little segments to basically erase them or trade them, Do take, them. take them to public trail. Uh, another meeting, not tonight, but just something I included a map and it's been it, it's a map with a bunch of red circles on it. There's a map copies that are there if you haven't seen it yet uh, for people that are here. Uh, yeah, that's a packet for Beam Road and the four and the class fours that could be uh, discontinued or turned to a trail. Hey Ron, could you could you put a list of that in my mailbox there, and I'll pick it up. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yeah. It, it includes the uh, includes your end of Diggins Road question too, where the gate is that goes up into the woods. Yeah. As a possible discontinuance or public trail, so that it's not listed as a class four. So, and again, it, it doesn't change the right of way widths if you just change it to public trail. The only time you lose your public right of way is a discontinuance. So you you make a decision on those two options, or leave it, or leave it the way it is. You could leave it the way it is. Where's that gate on the digging? It's at the end of the. It's sort of at the landing, way in there where you take a left and start to go back up. You go down, go down, and go way down and take a left and then on the left. Yep. We're talking the Dickens Road. Yes, it, it, it's it's a road that goes from the landing to the Borden House Foundation. Down Borden House Ridge. No, not the ridge. Down towards to, towards the foundation. Head right towards Schofield Brook. Don't 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 take a left and go towards the Peens Camp. Stay straight and head right out towards the foundation. Class four road way up to there. That yes. That goes all around Sonny's little camp he had. No, Sonny's old, Sonny's old camp is on the uh, Lapine side. Yeah, this, this goes right straight down. And actually, back in time, that class four road ended right at the foundation. Right at the foundation, yes. Lapines. No. No. Straight. Don't go towards Lapines. Lapines goes left. Oh, oh, it goes straight. Yeah, it's going straight. Yes, it goes right straight toward, towards the foundation. Where, where the Borden House Ridge drops off right down to Schofield Pond, uh, Schofield Brook. We'll, we'll get a map together and a list for January, and then we can look at it together instead of the historical <laughs> memories of whatever. Last time I was out through there, you talked about washing. <clears throat> okay, so Beam Road is we'll, Beam Road, we'll right. pull together again in January with a itemized list to show a little bit more information on those 16. And hopefully VTrans will have final comment on how they're proposing to do town highway number changes. Uh, there's three or four different highway change by beam road. Okay. For the map. I'm up, when I say map, I'm talking about VTrans map, trying to true it up to what the select board wants to do with beam road. So it's kind of a combination of things. So they have say over what to do with 52, is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, so if we said, why don't you uh, pick up 52 and, and just move that to the new extension of class three? So right. Beam Road would end at uh, Clark's driveway, and you'd sort of take a left onto Tiny Highway 52, also called it Beam Road, which I don't I don't know how they're going to do with it. I would just make 52 all the way over to the from our tournament. On the other side of town. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for from, from VTrans. Yeah, we don't we don't assign the highway numbers. VTrans does. So from what I see here, you're also looking at discontinuing uh, 50 from Cleveland Corners to where it is now by Clark's driveway. Exactly. Public trail. Yeah, they can do a public trail, which keeps the right away, or they could discontinue it, which would break up the road and just make it go away. Yeah, there's two of those two options. <laughs> so then you really are limiting and future. That's the state also? No, that's a select no, board decision. Not. Okay. Yeah. It's the numbering of the town highways gotcha. feature. Yeah, good. Okay. So what else is part of being road tonight, Tom? No, because the warning that's drafted there. Yeah includes some of the language I need from VTrans, so I can't, we can't get yeah, going on that. From uh, but it's about a 90-day process once it starts. 30-day notice and a 60-day to issue an order. Yeah, 
but nothing else has changed for you guys physically out there. I think we're treating it as always has been. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Can I make a comment? It's Mary, Mary Waltz here. Yes. Hi, everybody. Um, I, I would just wanted to say two things. One, in relation to our own property up on Cooper Hill Road, it's been on our mind to deal with this very short stretch of um, uh, road that comes off Cooper Hill Road that's on our land. And so I just want to register with you guys if there is a general cleanup or even if you decide not to do a general cleanup, but maybe we could, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Piggyback on the beam road thing and do a specific thing to get that road discontinued because it, I, I don't know if you can see it on the map, Ron presented, but it's a really short stretch. It's it's quite eroded and not passable. And, and it doesn't go anywhere except onto our land. And so we'd like to see that discontinued. And the only other adjoining property owner is um, our neighbor, Amy Nato. And we've spoken to him about it and he's totally in agreement. But anyway, I just wanted to flag that we're interested in, in um, cleaning that up. It's been on our agenda for about 10 years. And uh, so when I I saw that this was possibly something you were considering, I wanted to just raise that. Yes, that, that is on the list of 16. Yeah, yeah. You, made, you made the list. And then the other thing I wanted to say, and this is wearing a different hat, just um, because I've been involved in some of the Beam Road discussions because I'm uh, uh, a friend of uh, Dusty Boynton's and they own a big parcel of land in there and um, so I've been trying to pay attention for her um, and I think that would be I mean I I haven't spoken to her about it yet but um, that would be another section of road that I think she would be interested in having discontinued because it it's it's not really a road. It hasn't been a road as far as I'm aware. I mean I I appreciate it's a right of way that exists but it's it's not anything that's really passable. So I think um, she would be interested in having that discontinued as well. So that's probably part of the Beam Road project. I just wanted to raise that for your consideration. Okay. It's probably not obvious from the map that you're looking at, but it could be made more obvious to you what the what the road issue is there. I we don't need to, you know, right. take up any more of your time with that tonight. I just I can send you something or write something and you can have a think about that. Okay. You got that, Ron? Yep. We're yep. Good. Okay. We're good, Mary. Thank you very much. Hey, sure. Thank you. Okay. Anything else added to Beam Road? Nope. Okay. January. Okay. Cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, I just want to say that I can't conceive of any road in Ice Park being all added since that's not the agenda. <laughs> well, I think you know they were looking for the A's, obviously. You know, I I looked at that and I went, Acorn Avenue. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's about right. That's... <laughs> I think it's more the whatever. Right. Okay. Um, Sorry, Thank you. Yes, you, you too. Well. With the uh, fire department, Scott wanted to have a second on NIMS. Okay. Go ahead. We are our overall budget this year is uh eight percent. Three three percent. That's between the five now. Total increase of ten thousand seven hundred and eighty-two dollars. Average inflation this year is six point nine. Yeah. Our major expenses, fuel, heating fuel, um, medical supplies are around thirty percent. So we were pleased with a three percent. But we always buy okay. park would be going up to three point seven percent due to the twenty twenty census. You have the most growth of any of the towns, an additional 75 people, a 2.5% increase. Um, 
Belvedere had a higher percentage increase of 2.9 percent, but they only had that 10 people for that. So you would be going up from 34.1 percent of the budget to 34.4 percent of the budget. Hence, that equals $4,501 increase. And that's carried for 10 years, those percentages until the next official the next census, right? Census. Um, so that's 3%. What, what was the dollar increase, Scott? Sorry. Dollar increase was what went from once. No, there's a, just the net. Uh, net is $4,501. Okay, thanks. So being 125,541. Um, but some of the things that we have been able to do this year because of COVID funding, we were pay, able to pay off the mortgage on the building. Oh. Um, it was due to be paid off in 2026, so we were able to pay that off early. We had two ambulances we were able to pay off. They were due in 2024 and 2026. There's those which are cardiac monitors, basically. Yeah. Um, that loan is due to be paid off in 2025. So we're able to use wow. the funding to try to keep the next few years um, possible gains to the minimum. Yeah. So that's, and we do need that's great. Roof. We do need a new roof. Um, we have jumped the building and we're hoping um, we, will, we still do have a cushion. We're hoping we will have for that. Right now, our COVID contract go through the end of January. Yep. Sounds like they're going to extend it, but we can't guarantee it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we are. And we are excellent. show our two full time positions in Johnson. And we're working on filling those, hopefully, with part time people. They have 24 hour shifts. Mm -hmm. We could find part time people for 12 hour shifts. They'd save on benefits. Basically, and you can't find full time people. There's just only so many out there. Yeah, and it's a good job. I mean, it's somebody else. It's a very good job. Um, so we are working on our marketing campaign to try to get new people into the industry. Yeah, are you have you have you started advertising for the the halftime? That still it's it's that's. Well, hours is a, you know, are do you think there's interest in that? Do you think you'll have better just curious as to yeah, looking for okay? Um, advertising doesn't really work if you get people, um, they like you, they might be spent and you don't get people. Huh? So, we are looking to call people, people. Know, with their other services to see if they'd be interested in what kind of composition, mm -hmm. yeah, right. So that's where we are. So we're pleased to keep it at three percent. Yeah, that's great. It really is. Yeah, you're right. With all the everybody's facing the same thing, the cost of everything is just increasing so rapidly. Hmm. So we will have package with a letter to the town, the budget, and everything to you by the first week of January. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. That's great. Any questions? No. Great. You're Thank able to pay those things off. That's terrific. Thank you. Right. Have a good day. Well. Appreciate it. Yeah, okay. We want to. We have a. Do we have an attorney yet? Yeah, I see DR up there. Is that, David. That's David. Okay. Uh, I don't. Fire does. Do you have a long one or short, quick, so you can get out of here? I think it's going to be short. Oh, yeah. David, can we uh, take two minutes with fire and uh, then? Then they can go. Yep. Yes. Go ahead. We're we're at your. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Go. All right. Um. Did you get, were, were you able to get the copy of the budget? Yep, package? it's yep. been out. Yep. So what I did is highlighted in yellow of the increases. Um, salaries, we increased um, $1,000 this year with the um, minimum wage going up again. 
has a lot to do with usage. Okay. It's so, it's uh, their whole so, so we kept them doing the same because what Ed had in last year it didn't go with what it on it so we figured right right yep no that makes sense what was the total dollars and percentage that you have I didn't get a chance to figure the percentage but um last year's was 105 five ten this year it's one it's about seven thousand yeah. Okay. Yeah, which is about and what the co well. And what we did is some of the line items that we have in there, if we've been under budget, we try to cut yeah. back on it to try to make, make up some mm -hmm. of the difference on the stuff right. that we increased on. Gotcha. Got any Rolly, Brian, Dave, got any? Anybody got any quick questions for him? It's pretty straightforward. Looks good, Brett. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, just to give it a heads up, um, probably next month's meeting, I'll come get on the agenda to come in and talk about replacing our engine for on our engine one. <coughs> get that work so we don't have a energy camera. So what that is um, yeah. is. When we go into a building yep. and it's on fire, it helps us tell where the hot spots are and, and, and all that. And we can also locate a body with it in there. So, um, right now, so like if we go to the call with North Lake Park, that is our first engine out. So, if we go in here, we don't have, we don't have that information. The right. current one's broken, you said? It is broken. When did that go in? And when we put that truck in service, okay, so okay, yeah. yeah, so it's about years. 10 years, old. yeah. Sorry, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No, no, I'm trying to hear what, what he just said. Did he say that we're gonna have to replace the truck? Is that what he said? No, no, it's just the imager on the truck. Oh, thermal. got it, got it, yeah, yeah the thermal image. <laughs> Yeah. He's, he's going to come in though. We do know that we got a truck that's. Yeah, I'll be next year. Yeah, yeah, that's right. With the frame. Oh, yeah, it's the frame, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so oh, yeah. hopefully yeah. it goes in for inspection in January. Right. Are fire yeah. trucks hard to come by like equipment is? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, so, that, um, it's on both sides. It's on both sides. Yeah, over the wheel as well. I'm not sure exactly. Um, do have some pictures at the station. Um, it's with that double. It's a double frame. So pulling apart. It's pulling right apart, separating. 
Yeah. All right. That's the all time we got. Okay. All right. We, we got any more questions? Need anything? We know where to find you. Yep. Yeah. So I get yeah. a question hey. for Brad. Yeah. Hey, hey, Brad. What happened to the uh, to the uh, 911 signs up here in this part of town? You were going to do this year. You didn't get a chance to get to them, Dave, with everybody's work schedule. Um, we have them sitting at the station, um, center, center Road, McKinstry Hill, um, and Noise Farm Road, and them roads are on the agenda for next spring. But if I'm going back, I'm going back in my, on my notes, and uh, this meeting this spring. You come to the board. You said that the third Thursday of the month you were going to dedicate to nothing but signs up. Yeah, and when we had a hard time getting our sign order, we didn't get them in for the first of January, about July, like we usually do. Um, mm -hmm. So that put us behind. And then, yeah, it was supposed to fall before we got the, the sign order for this year. Um, and so that put us behind with everybody's work schedule and that it was just impossible to get out there. We did get out there and we were putting signs up and, uh, and we just stopped a couple of weeks ago there with getting dark for early at yeah. night. It was right. hard and people were getting upset that we were out there counting posts and all that. So we didn't want to. Outside the community members up there, so we right. stop. Safety issue, too. Well, yeah, out in the dark, right? Okay, Dave. Yeah, thank you, Brad. If you can get us out, we'll join them there. It's, it's just kind of with, with the amount of people that we have right now. But it is definitely on our agenda for spring. Okay, great. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Happy holidays. Yeah. Thank you, Brad. The fire truck was definitely a hit. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hi, David. I guess you're up. Okay. Well, well now, you're right. We're going to. Do we have anybody else on it? Um, we need a motion to go into executive session. For the reasons on the agenda. I should read that into the record. Oh, yeah. What? Okay. Uh, let's see. We got. Second town attorney, uh, an executive session for confidential attorney client communications for the uh, um, for a topic he's dealing with, with for the town. Yes. So moved. Okay. Got a second? Second. Okay. Dave and Chastity, we got a yep. vote to the executive session. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody aye. opposed? Anybody aye. abstaining? Okay, we got Jesse. We're good. We
out to yeah. Jingers. That's what I figured. I, I thought about it and said that's got to be it. In, in there. So yeah, one house that's way in, then two that are near uh, cricket, closer to cricket than one that's. Way It'll in still remain there. private. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. It just needs a name. Yeah, it just needs a name. Yeah, the naming and reclassification two totally separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not related at all. That's why yeah. I had to tell one of the owners. He thought it was going to come with plowing. <laughs> Ooh, I said no. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. No, you just you just get a name. No, but he did want the road acceptance policy, so okay. I said that. Okay. Um, so I guess we need a uh, we need a conversation about people wanting to call their their uh, road Acorn Avenue. Do we have anybody from? The road or anything like that where did acorn come from no i was just their neighborhood meeting and they came up with it and it's unique because i have to advise yeah. people that it can't be similar so the the number of roads we have to look at is pretty large you know mountain won't be approved anymore <laughs> there's already seven of those in the area you know yeah so when they come up with something unique like acorn that's good avenue is it's kind of a wide open territory what you use for suffix suffix we don't have a policy yeah, that says you can't, right. cares, right. can't use one or the other or everything has to be a road originally a lot of people say this originally there was sort of a working under understanding village had streets and the town had roads but not according to the u.s postal service <laughs> you can have way or fields there's probably 80 different suffix that you can use that you can have okay so this is just the one of the few ones that we've had Avenue on. Yeah, yeah. Dave Chastity got the objections to letting them call themselves Acorn Avenue. No, no, no I like it. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it is different. Okay, so I yeah. guess I, we need a. Uh, well, I'm willing to accept that we, uh, the Acorn Avenue be accepted as a uh, street name, I guess you'd call it, for. Uh, name off Cricket Hill. Hill Road. Okay. Second. Okay. All in favor of accepting the name signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Ron, number three. Co-file? Uh, yeah, co-file, sorry. Uh, co-file is a proposal from Kim to continue the work this is paper yeah, on it. Yeah. Uh, continue the work of going backwards in the land records. 40 years? Uh, to get, I think maybe a year. I don't know exactly what, yeah. So every every month that goes by, we get a little further than 40. Mm -hmm. So depending on what it's completed, um, there'll be 40 plus in the online searchable database. Yeah, so that, which, yeah. yeah which so that completes, the, that completes the original yeah. mission to get people uh, the mortgage records on online. For Kim for calling. Yeah. So, so it is what it is with Copile. They 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 got it down. Kim has uh, uh, submitted a supplemental memo because she's intending to use ARPA money for this. Yeah. And ARPA money is conditioned on procurement requirements for bidding or justification why you didn't bid. So Kim has written a memo uh, dated uh, December fifteenth basically saying that this system is part of a bigger project and it doesn't make any sense to switch. Right. Right. So that, I think that is one of the ex exceptions out of the US Treasury rules is that the project is just so complex and specific to the continued um, vendor that it doesn't make financial sense to switch. Okay. So that will go on file. The motion would be to authorize Kim to sign. So she's been authorized to sign the other ones. Yep. Give that back to him. Yep. So this, once all this is done, it sort of means, whew, a lot of the of the stuff that our real estate people and attorneys come in and looking for can be done online, right? Because they mostly want to go back forty years. Yeah, that happens. That happens now for a refinancing because they're only required to go back to the last land transaction or something. They don't need to do a forty, but a brand new property that uh, doesn't have a title search uh, for a brand new mortgage, go back and forth. So this would allow them to do it. The only one that's had a uh, need to come in the office most directly now is zoning records, because they want to come in and 
physically touch or get a copy of a permit that's 30 years old or the septic permit that they need to see what the number of bedrooms was, those kind of things. Yeah. Those are still in the big locker, you know, the big uh, four, yeah. four door file cabinet. You um, know, that, that's a good part about the, the uh, lawyers and uh, real estate real estate people not going into the office. The bad part is the town losing revenue because we can't charge them uh, uh, time to use a vault or, or copies and stuff. So I, I don't know how much revenue. What's that, Ron? Well, I think that was, Kim was here one night and she explained that there's online fees yeah. that, that make up some of the lost in office fees. And she didn't think, she didn't think it was that far off actually. But you have no figures in your file for head or? No, Kim would have those. Cause again, I remember, right. Cause we, we asked her about that and, and, uh, of course, I don't know how it'll be interesting. We'll just make a note. Let's ask her if she's got some. It's been going on long enough New that we had an idea, right? But they they thought about that as everything was going to, to because it obviously impacts all the towns. So I guess what we need is a is a motion um, for Kim to be able to sign the uh, a contract with Cofile to. Finish getting this in. He's yeah. Second. Chastity, Dave, you okay? Yep. 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 Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. What was the dollar amount on that? It's not that. Sixteen thousand five ninety-three fifty. I didn't write it down. Okay, number, let me see. Number seven, good old ARPA project. This is for the. Uh, yeah, so the subrecipient agreement is a little more complicated. David has been um, distracted by other things, and I've been distracted by other things, but uh, we did uh, advertise for uh, engineer services, which is part of the ARPA requirement. So those responses are due uh, January 5th. So I expect and I hope that at the January meeting, we'll have a recommendation on engineering services. And it may be a matrix of sorts where you say, who does water, who does sewer, who does streetscape, who does uh, buildings, and then have the results of the different uh, provider services. And then we make some choices based on who we want to work with. And we, and we advertise jointly with fire district number one, uh, Dave Harvey and Roger Audet, so that they could use that same RFQ to satisfy their ARPA, which they have to meet our requirements. So we decided to do it together. They don't usually do that kind of stuff. So we just joined together on that. And I'm tracking all my ARPA time, which is eligible for reimbursement. So it's not a loss to the taxpayers to help the fire district go. Yeah. So on the 17th of January, hopefully those two things will be before you. It's engineering services agreements. Uh, yeah. We sent it to the current people we work with, uh, like Dubois King, we've worked with in Summit. Uh, VHB called today. They're interested in bidding their uh, national firm that's based in South Burlington and Montpelier. They have local engineers that would come out, but they're still a pretty slick operation. If you go to the VHB website, because they do multiple uh, big projects. They also like the bigger responsibilities of maybe being the town's only engineer on everything, which is a kind of a, we haven't had that before. We always had specialty people that come yeah. in, yeah. Um, just like we're trying on attorney services to have David Lou's <clears throat> office eventually have the town attorney role. Right now we're down to two attorneys uh, that we kind of go back and forth on. We used to have up to four. So it's just easier if you have a point of contact and then bid it out every three or four years or something way easier than me trying to keep, you know, four different okay. professional firms all the same page of things. So anyway, January, January 17th, hopefully both of those come back and uh, Dave Harvey and Roger, hopefully be here uh, as part of that decision-making okay. process. So that's it for tonight. On okay. Our
Okay, and our favorite topic, Volvo excavator and trailer purchases. What was the total price on the, the Volvo? Do you have that? What do, what? 177.5. Was the CRW quote that they held? They held, yeah. Yeah, they didn't mess with that since October. <laughs> okay, and then what's. <laughs> I, 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 I responded once to your trailers, but I got, I got no, I got no help for you when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. So. Um, this one here, the 2013 one, I did another search on that one for 14, uh, five, which was a fairly good one. But of course, I think there's, uh, other need out there because these things are being scooped up. This one here is no longer available, um, for, uh, I think they've taken the ad down because I did a search again, just here for, for it. I didn't find it. So, uh, um, so, but the other one, um, the new one, we've got a problem. Yeah, there's new two new quotes, yeah. new trailer quotes for uh, one for yeah. Lucky's and one for Clark's yeah. agents. Okay. So we have the kind of three three different choices: two competitive on new, and one which. <laughs> needs to move a lot quicker if you're going to buy used, I think, somehow. We have well, to, yeah, I think that, right, right. We have to either have a pre-approval that uh, somebody can run down, maybe do an inspection on. Uh, I did find a trailer inspection service, a national company that will actually run out to those sites that we might find on Craigslist. Yeah. 300 bucks, they'll go through it all, make sure it's compliant, and come up with a list of needs. So we have a, mm -hmm. a cost estimate on what it would take to get it serviceable and on the road. What, what's the warranty on because I know every time you buy a new trailer, it's the same thing as it is with a second hand. Because these trailers set brand new so long, the brakes all freeze them. Huh. Because that one we bought mm -hmm. over there, we had trouble with the brakes from day one. And huh. it's just, we had to tear them apart and fix them, but it's the same thing with a brand new one. They might set it to the years. Yeah, we, uh, the luckiest one are still in the flatbed being delivered. That's probably a good newer trailer. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Has anything really sat lately? I mean, stuff's been selling like crazy, or you can't come across anything. So I doubt something's really been sitting too, too long at this time, right? I mean, yeah, well, certainly anything new, stuff, right? Right, yeah. But I haven't. I, did did yours come with a warranty? The trailers come with. I don't remember. I was seven, eight years, ah, okay. eight years ago now. We bought that more there. I would think. I mean, it seems like everything in the whole world well, comes with a warranty. You check. You they? check with Pete's over here, right, Brad? You don't sell them anymore, right? Um. But yours? No, I haven't. I don't know. He he used to get them. I don't know if he can still do it or not. Yeah, we borrowed what two hundred thousand. Uh, yeah. But we had said we could take you know trailer money out of the you know if we need to out of their contingency fund. Which is which gives us what? Right now you got a you got an extra twenty two thousand five for the uh, out of the two hundred thousand. Yeah. So we had talked about using a uh, hundred percent or paying a hundred percent of the trailer from the. Highway oh, yeah. Coin Reserve. So we do have money in that for that purchase. If you just want to only okay. loan on the 177.5. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't clear on that. That's yeah. Great. Or you can go up to the 200 and do the and difference. Do the difference. Right? I mean, you know, we should probably check in with Jason. He was a local guy right here in High Park just to see if he does sell them. And if he don't, we'll grab something else. They don't sell trailers. Jason, yeah, he usually does. He can get them. He did. Let's put it that way. <laughs> right now, I because think you don't have it. People aren't getting it. Right. Yeah. Right. He's going to probably call Lucky. <laughs> get it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like he'd be a middleman in that case. 
Well, I don't know. I don't oh, I know we used to sell them because that's where we bought ours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was the make of yours? Do you remember? No, I don't. Okay. As I said, that was nine years ago. And I don't even know if he did with them. Yeah. I'm just trying to... just a matter of a phone call. No, I believe we were over there talking to him about the yesterday. Almost I believe he said he remember that? Yeah, I remember something you said about the trailer. He was more interested in the, the excavator right. at the time, but then okay, so we're getting out of that. So let me see if I can find Jason. Well, of course, we don't have to. We can we can keep looking for the. So when for when the are we gonna, yeah okay I'm sorry yeah. I, yeah I was jumping ahead in my head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what you were saying. We're, but I, we're getting uh, ready to right. Yeah. Um. When would we be taking possession of the estate? I think it's being hold was held now. We said we wanted it. We had to do paperwork, and we, I think the intention was to get a trailer in our cottage, but. Yeah, yeah. seventy seventy thousand five. They'll deliver it, right? It should usually they do they drop it off yeah hasn't come yet we haven't given a check yet either yeah right right so now do we do we need a formal vote that we're we already did yeah that's all i thought we didn't do i'm just checking three times <laughs> yeah it was just conditioned i'm looking around for it <laughs> useful i know I just me to... yeah the trailer <laughs> at the this 177.5 is done it's the trailer that we're waiting for right. to see if we're going to buy you know, used or new is one question. If you buy yeah, new, you I, go. I still think you should buy a new one. I, I You're going to have the same problem with the second hand one. You, yeah, if you looked at, is that Lucky's? Yes, from here. I agree. It's Lucky's. Yeah. It's always great. It doesn't say it on there, though. Okay, right. So I think, right. I'm trying to tell if these have got the dual um jacks on the front this one here does this one what what's the cost on a new one this one's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 28 29 29 quite a bit of time we've done and those are just the rear assist um, i know the guys are talking about yeah they wanted to make sure that they had the ramps of the but that's something that could be added to if we didn't. This one here does have the uh, eager beaver and the uh, luckies. <laughs> they've been around for quite a while, eager beaver. So they okay, Acorn Avenue, eager beavers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and is that the that price? This one here is 27 and 6. Do they have it down there already? Or do they yes, they, they got two. Yes. They do. Yes. But Clark's. Lucky's, Lucky's has two. Clark's isn't getting anything in until spring. Okay. Well, we there? don't want to wait till spring, do we? We you, That would be nice. We have an excavator sitting and we can't haul it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but that would be pretty, that would be she, pretty embarrassing. <laughs> time chastity because you can get anybody haul any piece of equipment in the wintertime. Everybody oh, something to haul. <laughs> it's very true. Right. However, I, I would think I, I mean in just looking at how the world is changing in prices that if that one of these from Lucky's is what makes sense. Let's get I agree, let's get a new one and again because nothing's sitting around. Um let's get it and be done if we're 
I think we go ahead and spend. Ooh, we borrowed the money at the right time too. Ooh, as interest rates start going up. <laughs> they're going like, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We, I think we nicely slid in there, and just use the use the twenty thousand and what we're short and take the, out of the. Take a look at those two. And which one do you like better? I I tend to like the uh, one from Allegiance. The, the, that one there is Lucky's. And the other one right out of Jericho. So if there's a problem, we don't have to go. Uh, no, Lucky's is down. Middlebury? Uh, yeah, probably Middlebury down that way. Yeah, it's further away. Lucky's, isn't Lucky's right up the interstate in South Royalton? Or they got, they got a place there? Oh, oh, oh. Must have it. Just have a dress on the. Yeah, some of the, the two quotes between Lucky's and Clark's or mm -hmm. Clark's slash Allegiance are so close that we'd probably want out the door type number because I, I know there's some ads on and optional things that aren't quite clear to me what's being charged or not charged. So if you have the braces that you want, you know, and you can say you, that's the kind of next step, I think, uh, well, which can be worked out. Yeah. with a motion to buy it right not to right. exceed thirty thousand, and let uh highway go out and get the get the one that checks all the boxes the one, one thing i want to show like you that. is that um, it's a good idea see these right here they have a jack here and a jack here if that rig ever has to be unloaded for some reason you'd want to have two jacks instead yep. of one yep. right okay. here right. in the middle right. and i'm trying to see on this if picture the here right. there's a jack right there and i can't tell if it's got two or just one uh jack system in the uh on the tongue and so i i just don't know right i'd rather see the two for the weight that would be hold, uh, held on it if it ever needs to be uh, disconnected with the load on it gotcha and usually you center your piece of equipment on the trailer so yeah you don't what yeah shouldn't we shouldn't we have the mark and the highway guys kind of have a say, have an input in on that part well, of what it needs if they, if they want. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Allocate thirty thousand and have them go do it themselves. Yeah, I like that plan. No more, no more than thirty thousand. But Dave, Dave, off mute. Yes. Yes. No, no, I Brian, did, Brian, Brian doesn't have to. That work we go up to thirty thousand for the trailer no more than 30,000 and they decide which of these two is the best well you voted for 200 uh, for 200,000 correct right and we had we had said at the time that we could take all the money out of their out of the uh reserve. out of the reserve out of the highway reserve to pay for the trailer if we had to because we we didn't know how much we were going to have to spend on the on the excavator and, and how many pounds this trailer? 20, uh, 20 ton. 20 ton? Yeah, they'll haul it, no problem. So, how about a motion to not exceed 30,000 um, for the trailer? And Mark, Mark Yeah, and have, have, uh, Mark and Ryan or whoever go figure out which of these is the best. I would think they would have to talk to you if you want, but I think they probably they need. How's that work? That works for me. Okay. Work for you. Work for you, Chastity. Yeah, what, do you want to, what do you want to do with the amount over two hundred? Do you want to take that excess over into the reserve? Or do you want to pay the thirty out of reserve and then take a take, loan for one seventy seven? No, let's spend the full 200. <laughs> we got it cheap <laughs> and take the what, whatever it's the over. The out reserve. Okay. Yeah, the difference out of the reserve. So I'll make sure the motion was. Yeah. But we have to come in the reserve. So yeah. If we need yeah. it, something else. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because we're building up our right. next piece of equipment. Who knows what that'll cost in a year, right? Scary thought. Um, okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Yeah, I'm going to abstain. I abstain on the, the uh, excavator. Only fair if I abstain on the trailer. Okay. All right. 
Okay, town orders. Uh, deferred. We are very far behind on making sure we're 100% ready to pay. We've been collecting old invoices and sorting things and coding things, and uh, we will be ready to go for your next month. Yeah. We'll have some I, potentially I late ready. ones that Susan might need to process yeah. for late fees in between. But yeah, I, I, it's a big I pile. Let's put it as a big pile. But we we're feeling good about it, even though it's a big pile. Just we need the we need the time. I'm saying anything. Okay, we got any other business? We're good. Everybody. Yeah. So, yeah, so I yeah. got something. Yeah. Uh, what 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 are we gonna do to get the uh, question on the ballot? Does uh, that's taxpayers? Do we want to buy that? Uh, 25 acres from Manage up to the pit. I, well, I actually, we don't have to do anything, but I had asked, I had asked, uh, I thought I'd asked Ron, I may not have, I may have just got as far as thinking it, but to have Ron send our letter, just telling him that that's, <clears throat> that that's what we're going to do. Okay. So that that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to handle it. Okay. Good. Let him Does know that. that. I'll get Ron's a letter and we'll put it on the, we'll just, we can put it on the ballot. Yeah. And uh, uh, ask him for um, uh, his record on it for the, the bore sample on that piece of land. Okay. Yep. And I know he's got it because he told me he had it. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, Dave, is the terms of the loan, I think you talked about the last meeting maybe, was that a 20 year type deal or that he's going to own or finance? Yeah, he, he said he would he would um, hold the paper for 20 years on it for us. And, is, and the purchase price is set in stone kind of thing? Well, Wait. Wait. nothing's in stone, but... Uh, <laughs> part of it, I won't, I won't. I won't. <laughs> part, but he, part of it, uh, the bore samples would would help set a price too right yeah that's right because you know if you're looking by in the pit you take how many thousand yards of gravel and so much dollars per yard and that's what it goes by but uh, he, he was going to sell that to tim stearns with high seed mowings and and something comes up where he can't afford to buy it right now so Edward said he would sell it to us and he would take 20 year payments on the thing. And I said, it'd probably be years before we got to use it anyway, so we could turn around and still rent it to Stearns to, for his high seed moments and yeah. stuff. Which would be good for everybody, help us pay for it and help, help them. So, did, did but that, that, the only thing Howard told me, the 25 acres there, and he wants to cut off one little chunk just up above on the corner where Ernie Ferland's place was. Because he, uh, he he wants to give a little chunk to his granddaughter to build a house there. Yeah. Is she going to like the view after we're done? <laughs> the windows on the other side. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, let's see. Anything else, Rolly? Brian, Chastity, anything? Uh, no, I, I got one more thing and really ain't got nothing to do with the tune and stuff, but Ron, could you talk to these people about the acoustics of those mics? I know last time Chastity said she couldn't hear nobody when two or three people are talking, and I heard that every other word that uh, people said down there. Yeah, yeah. Any... yeah we, we're trying to do better on that. We uh, need to make sure that the table mics are facing people's mouths when they talk for the board members. But the main problem is if we're not watching the crowd, they need to get right in front of a mic as well. And they weren't doing that tonight. They were sort of spread out everywhere. Yeah. So you, it's really our problem, not the not the equipment. It's us trying to direct people. people. come up, right. Yeah, yeah. They, need, okay. they, they really should come up to the table if yeah. they're gonna okay. speak. Okay. Thanks, Dave, that was good feedback. No, I'll make them, we'll get them to do that in the future. <laughs> and I don't know, you know we, um with uh with covid going crazy again i think we just stick to our hybrid meetings 
Um, you, people just, everybody's got to have their own comfort level of what they can, you know, where we're at and what we can do. Yeah, I had gotten that. So that'll be the same as Nick last year, right? That's what you're talking about. Yeah. Let me see. Was this the one from Kim? Do the urgency? Oh, well, yes. this is what, yeah. Um, we hit, who knows when, when you make a final decision, but the, uh, the board of civil authority, or which board it is, agreed that going back to the high school and Kim had checked and the high school said, we can, we can come back, but people must wear a mask. It's not a whip. You must wear a mask. Right. Um, that makes sense. Uh, we talked about have, you know, having it, uh, having it recorded. And I think, again, the, the way the world is, well, actually, in this very, it sort of seems to go like this, but then it goes like this. So hopefully by March, we'll be in good shape. If something, if everything is really horrible, the beginning or into February, we might we might want to change it and do again what we did, just have everything be remote. But I am I am hopeful that we'll be okay doing it at the high school. So if worst comes to worst, can can you do remote with 150, 200 people? And if if so, how in the world would you ever run? Moderate? Yeah. How would you ever a sort of who wanted to talk and, and Dave, Dave uh, Kim and I had a good discussion about that today. Uh, basically, the technology is there, but you almost need two, maybe three additional people to help run the meeting. Right. You know, somebody making sure people speak into a mic, somebody watching the software program to make sure there's no glitches there, and one person, uh, sort of like Sue's, Susan's role to actually run the meeting and remind people of things and how to speak and all that so it's a little it's definitely more complicated but it's not a technology problem it's a people management issue that uh kim and i really don't want to do because we have other things going on that we have to be aware of just to run the meeting and get to the end of the meeting uh but having two two good people that know how to run a meeting we'd have a rehearsal before um, all that stuff would have to happen. It's not, it's not huge, but it's just something you have to be really thoughtful and patient and walk people through. It, it, it would work. Let's hope it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope yeah. we can have a normal. Right. But to do something that complex, we you need to start planning that much earlier because you got to find the people to do it and everything that needs to be set up. So it's not right. a, it's, it's not a last minute decision that we can make. I've heard other boards have already made their decisions. So, uh, that they're uh, you know, trying to go back, trying to go back to normal. So with, 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 with or, a few, or staying remote, yeah. Yeah, or, or, yeah, and I didn't, we fortunately we didn't have any big issues last year, but you know this year it would be nice to be able to get people there, particularly when we're, you know, I I expect our major issue will be the purchase of the gravel pit. Right. Um, I mean, the good thing, I mean, we, I think this is good and bad. I mean, we don't always have a huge huge crowd, and that auditorium at Lamoille is really nice where people can sit scattered and wear right. a mask. So, I mean, we could make it really safe. I, I you know, it's not like we're going to have, you know, 2,000 people in there um, well, where it would, right. it could put an issue. But, you know, in the meeting time of it, I think, you know, it wouldn't be an issue. I don't yep. feel. And, and we talked about you can only, instead of coming in different doors, you can only come in the main door. Yeah. 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 So you control your access that way. So yeah. yeah, I think let's let's be optimistic and assume it'll be fine. Exactly. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 gonna try a little optimism for a while and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.
go home and make myself a drink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, okay, anything else? I think we're good. No. We're good. Merry Christmas. Merry everybody. Christmas, everybody. Thank you. Yep. Merry Christmas. Okay, see you later.